Well, good morning and welcome to the Sudoku channel. This is Oliver coming to you from Yall by the Sea here in Ireland over in Europe. And we're delving back through the archives of the, of the Telegraph newspaper in the UK, looking at their diabolical Sudoku puzzle of the 14th of May 2021. And it is their number 5494 and our number 102. Now, this is where we got when we went through um, video one, which was just looking at the basic techniques. And if I remember correctly, as I came to the end there, I said there's an awful lot of eight, nines and twos. And if you look at it, you can see <laughs> trebles and quads everywhere. <clears throat> I have been looking at it. I've been looking <laughs> at it a lot. And I just came across a couple of neat little things. If I can only find them again now, I will be doing absolutely brilliant. Where were they? Oh, yes, there we are. I remember I was looking at the eights and uh, to see what we could do. Well, there's a nice little chain. It's not a single chain. It's actually an alternating inference singles chain. If you haven't done chains before, go down below in the comments. There are a couple of tutorials down there and have a look at strong weak links and singles chains. Right now on the eights, if we start off here, there's a nice little chain that's targeting this one over here. So if we start here and finish here. If we can prove that either that one or that one is always an eight, then this cannot be an eight. So let's suppose this is not an eight. If that is not an eight, then this is an eight. There's a strong link there. If that's an eight, then this one is not an eight, but also this one over here is not an eight. That's a weak link. So if that's not an eight, this one has to be an eight. That's a strong link. So if that's not an eight, this is an eight. Get rid of that. Go back the other way. Suppose this one is not an ace, then this one is an ace. Then we have a weak link to not an ace and a strong link to must be an ace. So either way, that one cannot be an ace. Straightforward, and that gives us a two, which is what I've been trying to do from the beginning, I have to admit. Um, that gets rid of that two there, and that two gets rid of that two there, giving us an eight here. I wonder will this do it for us? Gets rid of that eight down there. We have a two nine two nine. It's running out too fast. Okay, we haven't got a two there. And what about in here? This is the only two we have in here. So stick that one in as a two. And we have an eight nine eight nine across that way. It's going a bit nah. That one not being a two. Now we still have two twos in here. So be careful. It's this one over here becomes the two. And that means that is not the two, giving this one as a nine. We might be there, do you know that? Nine, so that is not a nine. We now have two eight, two eight there. We only have a single nine in here. And that nine also got rid of that one up there. So we'll do this one here as being a nine. I think we're there. Not and not, so that's a three eight, three eight. Eight nine, eight nine, we have a four here. It just needs small things now to break it. And I think we must be nearly there. We are. Because we've got a two up there as well. Ah, we are. I think that's all we needed. The eight gets rid of that one. And an eight gets rid of that one down there. Ah, right, that's it. Wasn't that simple? <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed though. I thought it might have been a little bit more difficult than that. Um... Uh, there was a two down there. It gets rid of that one, giving us a three nine three nine three nine three nine. Gets rid of our two nines here, and that gives me an eight there, getting rid of that one. And down here we take the two. Ah, it was hardly worthwhile doing. It sure it wasn't. And that means that must be the eight. Can't be an eight. That must be the nine. Uh, can't be a nine. Must be an eight. Can't be an eight. Must be a nine. There we have the seven and over here we have the two, which means we don't have a two there. We have a nine here and we have a two up here. And I'm scanning quickly to see what have I left out somewhere. Well, over across here we have an eight, nine. There's a nine there, so we can't have a nine. It must be an eight. And there must be something similar here. Eight, nine there. We have an eight over there, so that one must be the nine. Four, seven. We have a seven, so that has to be the four. And 
3838. Oh, God, I thought that was 3838, 3838. <laughs> that would have been very, very bad. Okay, so what can we get rid of? We have a 389 across here. We have a 9 here. So that can't be 9. It must be a 3, which means this one must be the 9. That being the 3 means this must be the 8. And that being the 8 means this must be the 3. Well, now, wasn't that simple? <laughs> Oh dear, if I'd only realised that when I was finishing off video one, I wouldn't, wouldn't have bothered with video two. But still, look, you know what? At least there was a chain in it, and I suppose that is the definition of having to use some sort of advanced techniques. So if you're new to the game, I hope that chain explains something to you. It's a good example. It's a very nice example of an alternating instruments chain and how it so solved the puzzle completely. If you didn't know about those, you'd be really stuck. So anyway, that's it. If you like these... Uh, games these diabolicals and you'd like to follow along be sure and hit the subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be told automatically when the next one comes out now i've been a bit behind but i think i will be out before next friday all right uh, for the next one okay so thanks for watching and i hope you're all enjoying it thumbs up and all the rest of it until the next time slant